Children's Hearing Scotland recruits, trains and supports volunteers. And so the volunteers that we recruit are all across Scotland and they're trained to sit as tribunal members uh, for hearings for children. Fundamentally, our system wouldn't function without our volunteers. For me, becoming a panel volunteer was about giving back to the community that I lived in my whole life. And I really wanted to provide some support to families and children. So everyone that applies will experience a really robust um, training package. It's a really important role and as such, we would never put anyone in a position to either sit on a hearing or to make any decisions who didn't have the skills and capabilities that we need people to demonstrate. We understand that people might be a bit nervous when they start training and that's a really healthy and normal thing to feel. And we know from speaking to our volunteers, the thousands we've trained over the years, people always leave that experience feeling absolutely ready to sit on a hearing and to really understand um, the reasons young people come into that hearing space and how they can support and make the best decisions for them. We need people who are uh, in every walk of life so that when somebody gets a panel in front of them, the panel could represent their community and so they feel that they're being met by people who somebody that understands something about what their life is like. Our volunteers really do matter and that's why we've put such a comprehensive uh, well-being support offer in place. It is so rewarding to put something back and you have a fantastic network both locally and nationally in the children's hearing system. The support is fantastic. The decisions that can be made in a children's hearing can have a, a really big impact on the life of a child and, and the people around them. These decisions can be around where that child lives who they're allowed to have contact with. Sometimes children's hearings can be really difficult to be a part of, but I'll always walk away from them knowing that I've made a decision which I believe in is, is the right decision for that child. I do feel the work that I'm doing is having an impact. I, I've seen at first hand situations where I believe the children are in a safer environment because of the decisions that we've made. I think to be a good panel member, you need to be empathetic, you need to be fair, and you need to be committed to the well-being of children. And for me, most importantly, it's about being non-judgmental. Being a good listener, being empathetic, and also being able to connect with children and young people and families. If I were to pick one word that would explain CHS, I would choose supportive not only in how our panel community supports children and young people, but also each other. My phrase would be, make a difference. That's what panel members do every day, is they, they make a difference to the lives of children and young people in their local community. I would say to anybody that's sitting on the fence and isn't sure, just do it. And actually giving back to your community is one of the best things you can ever do. Well, if I was to pick one word, it's hearing. Then I hear what they say, you cannot make a good decision. I would say responsible. It's important decisions that you're making, but it's not something you should shy away from. Sometimes you get the opportunity to see a child more than once, and sometimes you'll see how a decision that you've made has had a real positive impact in that child's life. It is challenging, but it's an incredibly fulfilling and rewarding role. If you've got a passion for helping children, helping families, then really consider doing it. I absolutely love being a panel member and I love being part of that panel community.